Let me, though, quickly welcome on board Sachendra Nath, founder and managing director at Ugro Capital. Uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Nath. Uh, first off, many congratulations. 10,000 crore in AUM breached. Uh, where to from here? In terms of growth, what can you expect going forward on this higher base? Yeah, when I, was, I was listening to you, it sounds so bad. Uh, but actually, when you look at businesses, businesses have little correlation to the stock market. Uh, I think so. <clears throat> what is most uh, hard thing about Ugro that uh, it's a company which has reached 10,000 crore EM, and uh, we are a pure play MSME financing company. In 2022, we were 1,300 odd crore. Uh, so we have seen since we began in 2019. We have seen both the LFS crisis, the COVID crisis, but still in three years, we have gone to 10,000 odd crore. And within the broader NDFC market, 10,000 crore of pure play MSME AVM put us roughly around fourth largest or third largest MSME financing company. Uh, so our whole view have been that India's MSME market requires a very large you know, institutional play and large lending institution around it. Same thing what we have seen in consumer financing, the gold, gold financing, second-hand vehicle financing, India definitely need a large MSME financing company. And we have both demonstrated the <clears throat> capital raise, three round of capital, almost you know 2,800 crore of total capital. We have demonstrated a very large co-lending business. Almost 50% of our business is in form of co-lending or off-balance sheet. And we continue to build from where we are, actually. Uh, we have said that uh, starting 2026, this company would continue to grow at 30-odd 30 per 30 percent every year. Right now, our entire focus is to expand out of our four vertical. We are expanding our micro vertical, micro enterprises vertical. In 2022, we were 25 location. Uh, we were 50, uh, we added another 50 location in 23. We are now roughly around uh, 150, 170 odd location, and we should be 250 plus location end of this year and 400 location next year. Uh, for our customer segment, which is 15 lakh to 15 crore turnover. Uh, we continue to see very strong resilience. Uh, if you read our MSME Sampark, which we do along with DNB, we are seeing uh, you know, a strong uh, formalization of economy. The movement of informal to GST is happening at a very strong pace. Uh, we are seeing very strong cash flow coming in the banking system. And we are seeing the bureau records getting mature. So, right. so I think so we, uh, we would... Uh, at the end of this year, uh, we have grown 3,000 crore of AEM every year. Uh, we were 3,000 uh, odd crore in 22. We were 6,000 crore in 23. We were 9,000 odd crore in 24. We should add, uh, you know, more than 3,000 crore end of this year and more than 5,000 crore end of next year. Right. So, tailwind being strong, <laughs> that's the one takeaway that I take out of this, uh, at least the, the first part of this chat. And the other piece is that you will add roughly 8,000 odd crore of AUM on the 9,000 crore AUM that you have in the next two years. Uh, talk us one through. And a half. Yes, okay, so two and a half years. Talk us one through. One and a half years. One, one and a half, apologies. So FY26, uh, is that the right way to look at it? Yeah. Got it. Uh, and mm. so talk us through how asset quality holds up. Uh, and, and before asset quality, actually, talk to us about how loan growth is shaping up and what segments of uh, the the balance sheet or or uh, where are you lending to what are the levers there so look uh, we service four customer segments as i said the of the total 90 lakh crore gap in india we, we expect we believe that 90 percent of that credit gap belongs to this customer which is in the trading turnover of 15 lakh to 15 crore and we service most of them through four distinct channels First, we, what we call the prime channel today, which constitutes roughly around 50% of our asset block, uh, where we lend to uh, businesses which are in the trading band, turnover band of between, say, 2 crore turnover to 15 crore, average ticket size on the secured loan size of around 1 crore, business loan of around uh, 17, 18 lakh rupees. Now, we then <clears throat> focus on uh, what we call productive asset financing. We do CNC, printing, packaging, plastic molding, and rooftop solar. Third is we do what we call uh, through partners and embedded financing. Uh, and last but not least, our entire micro enterprises vertical. Uh, if you look at the construct of our total loan book today, 50%, as I said, is our prime customer segment loans. 
around 10 odd percent is our micro enterprises, 10 odd percent uh, is around our partnership and alliances, and the balance is the machinery and few others. Where it would change, uh, you know, in next eight, seven, six, six quarter or eight quarter, this micro enterprises loan would become roughly around 30 percent of our total loan book. So the entire, so it is not the volume number, but the growth, uh, new growth will come from our expansion of our micro enterprises. And also that is what is expanding our ROA as well, because this is roughly around 18, 90% secured yield business. Uh, when physical expansion uh, coupled with our entire digital and data technology, you know, infrastructure is expanding our, our business. So when you get to 17,000 crore, Mr. Nath, I'm going to rephrase this. Where does micro enterprise go, which is maybe 2% lower than your uh, blended book uh, in terms of yields? So therefore, where does this particular component of the book go, which is currently at 10% of your book? So, you know, I'm not putting the number of 17,000 crore. I hope that the, you know, surprise the market more than that. Sure. Yeah, our expectation is more than that because we are building infrastructure now. Uh, <clears throat> we have said that we will expand our portfolio yield by 150 basis point, uh, and that is happening through our micro enterprise loan, which comes at an average yield of right now at around 20 odd percent. We are hoping that with the expansion and you know growth volume, the yield would a little bit compressed for that segment of the market. But our overall portfolio yield, because of sheer reconstruction or change in the mix from a 10% or, you know, of the current loan book, which is around 1,000 odd crore, when it get to 30, 35%, so roughly around, uh, you know, seven, 8,000 odd crore, this would increase the portfolio yield by 150 basis point. Got it. Okay. And uh, just talk to us about what component of your loan book of 10,000 crore now is secured versus unsecured. And as it goes from the current 10,000 to maybe 17, 18,000 crore, where, how does secured and unsecured really shape up? So we have maintained uh, what you in your common paradigms call unsecured loans. Mm -hmm. We have maintained that of roughly around 30%. Now, uh, the definition of secured is multiple types. So uh, our loan book has uh, you know component of secured by mortgages, which is property, secured by machinery, secured by receivable and cash flow. What we call the hard collateral led loan uh, is roughly around 60 to 70 odd percent. And it would continue in that way, probably it would improve. Uh, so we expect that uh, our secured by collateral, hard collateral uh, will go up from the current of 70 odd percent to 75 odd percent. And that is sheer function of our micro enterprises vertical growing now, which is largely secured. Uh, we don't do anything else there. Uh, second is, I, you know, you have to differentiate this, what, what you call so unsecured loan, the business loan segment to micro enterprises, while there is no collateral attack, but it is done on the basis of the cash flow of underlying customer and also you get credit guarantee cover. So most of our unsecured business loan uh, is resides in our co-lending bucket, wherein there is a credit guarantee. So on our 20%, there is credit guarantee and for the banks which takes uh, these loans, also there is credit guarantee. So at least uh, hmm, from that perspective, these loans are not unsecured because there is a credit guarantee from CGTMSB which comes on these loans. Take your point. Now, just want to talk about asset quality because this is one pocket, small businesses where uh, it's been a tough couple of quarters. Uh, what is different uh, in your book? Are you seeing pain at this point? Uh, just talk to us about what's happening on ground. So I think the MSME financing you should divide in three parts. Uh, first is businesses which are new to credit. Second is what we call the underserved market, the, these customers which are between 15 lakh turnover to 25 crore turnover. And third is the overserved customer, which is larger MSME. Whenever the customer trading turnover between 25 crore to 200 crore, that's a bank customer. We believe that that customer seg segment have little competitive advantage to the larger corporate and that's why they remain under pressure. But this, you know, the middle, uh, and that's why, you know, I would urge for media to read uh, this 25,000 customer survey, which we do along with DNB, uh, and we publish the health of these customer segment. This is a customer segment where the cash flows are improving. In tier two, tier three, tier four economies, uh, these customers are getting more formal. Their GST turnover volume is increasing. Their banking cash flow is increasing. 
So we are seeing, uh, you know, very anti-cyclical behavior for micro enterprises customer, both in services and manufacturing uh, for that bank. Obviously, uh, we see there is a little bit of over leverage happening in the business loan segment as it has happened also in the retail segment, but it is nowhere near to the consumer, retail, personal loan segment, uh, and, uh, and it is still very manageable. Uh, and that's why credit guarantee also helps uh, us a lot in that segment. We continue to believe that we will be able to manage this business in a 2% overall blended credit cost because we construct the portfolio in that manner because different product lines, so secured prime customer, uh, you know, have around credit costs around 0.5%, business loan is around 2.5% annual, micro enterprises is 2%, machinery is around 1%, embedded financing and partnership loans are less than 1%. So we make sure that we blend the portfolio percentage in a manner that we can maintain through the cycle a credit cost between 1.5% to 2.5% and median being at 2%. We are at 1.5% of credit cost, and we believe that our 4% ROA bridge has these four parameters. Our blended portfolio need to go up by 150 basis point. Our cost of borrowing to come down by 75 basis point. Our OPEX leverage to give benefit of 0.5 basis point, and our credit cost would go up by 0.5%. And that's why this will move from 2.5% to 4% in the shorter, you know, 8 to 10 quarters. Very specific, uh, what gives you the confidence that the credit cycle likely will not turn? And if it does turn, your asset quality will remain unaffected at 2.5%, capped at 2.5% in terms of credit cost. So you have to look at from the macro and then we have to look at our selection criteria. Uh, I think the, the way India's growth trajectory is the services segment and the manufacturing segment at the bottom of the pyramid we if unless there is a reversal of our growth rate at the gdp uh, start happening if india continues to grow at 70 percent msme would continue to contribute between 30 to 40 odd percent and the bottom line pyramid of the msme economy will continue to perform well so we are not seeing and also there is massive government push to expand the credit and make msme economy more healthier so if you look at this year's of budget the amount of emphasis which has been done on msme is you know uh, unprecedented so we are not first we are not seeing any macro headwind when it comes to msme number two we select you know today if you look at in last 15 quarter or so we have maintained login to disbursement ratio of around 30 odd percent which means for every month when we disburse around 600 to 700 odd crore of loan almost four times of that we originate which means that our both machine and human have been able to eliminate the customer where we don't see good solid cash flows. So 50% of all of our loans, you know, are rejected by machine, which we call grow score, and then 20% get rejected by our credit officer. And as long as we maintain that and we continue to remain in the same portfolio mix and select the customer and keep expanding our physical footprint, I think so we'll be in this range itself. My last question is with, with regard to geographic concentration. Now, I know we've spoken more about risks than about uh, the positives, yeah. but you've captured the positives very well. So I want to try and focus in on that one risk, which is geographic concentration. You know, uh, are you planning to diversify or are you more comfortable with the way you currently are placed geographically? So Ubro is India's only MSCB financing company which has crossed the bridge of north, uh, north and south divide. Most of our peer set are either south focused or north focused. Ugro is a national footprint uh, company. Our micro enterprise business, we started from Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Karnataka, Rajasthan and Gujarat. Now we have expanded in UP, MP, Andhra, Maharashtra. Uh, and our prime business is around, uh, you know, further into larger, you know, cities and towns. So we operate 30 odd location across the nation for prime. We operate around these seven or eight states, which is both north plus south. Yeah, we do a very deep data analytics of all loan portfolio of all our peer set, and that's why we exclude certain number of states. Uh, we have waited for three years for UP, you know, economy to you know prosper and become stronger, and that's why we have entered. We still don't go to Northeast. We have not still exposed to Bihar. Uh, not many other states which, you know, otherwise, you know, look very attractive, but we think so that the 
cultural aspects of MSME and economic progression, in, you know, in places like Bihar, Odisha is still not fairly strong. So I think so we are well diversified geographically. Our journey from the current to this year of 250 to 400 location is in these eight states. And after that, we'll see how, you know, different geographies pan out. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Mr. Nath, for, uh, of course, giving us that lens on not just, uh, uh, you know, you grow, but also talking to us about the industry at large. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much, Harsh.